Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, select this layer foot to left and go to pen behind icon and move the anchor point here. And select foot to right, also move the anchor point here. And select this layer, hand right, move to here, anchor point and select hand right to move the anchor point down and select layer body move the anchor point down like this and hand left move the anchor point here glissation tool and in this time select hand left let's link to layer body select layer display let's move to behind of layer body I'm going to make this display layer to compensation for add icon into the display and select display layer link to body. Select foot left and foot right. Let's move to like this and also link to layer body and select hand right to link to hand right. Select hand right link to layer body and select hand right layer move to like this and select hand right to move to here and select hand left put like this okay so in this time select this layer body and press s open scale and change scale like this and move to like this here okay and select this foot left and right let's unlink select none and select body Press R, let's see. Okay, that's good. So, right now we can create animation. Select body, press R, and create rotation keyframe, chain rotation, minus 4. And go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use Hold Shift, press page down in keyboard. And chain rotation, 4. Again, go to 10 keyframes. Select first keyframe, copy paste. And make it easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay, so in this time, select body, hold shape, press P, open position, and create new parts in keyframe. And go to middle and move to down. Let's see. Okay, go to next keyframe, select first keyframe, copy paste, and make it again easy. Right mouse, keyframe assistant, and easy. Let's see. So Let's add expression for loop endless animation. First one, rotation. Hold Alt, click time icon. Go to play button, property and loop out duration. And for down expression, click this empty area or click here. Let's see. Okay, we have rotate animation with only three two frames. And let's do this sound for position. Go to first second. Hold Alt, click time icon. Go to play button, property and loop out duration. And click here for down expression. Let's see. Okay. So for add natural and realistic animation, select rotation two frames, hold alt and move to right. Let's see. Okay, that's good. I like it. And let's close two frame settings and select hand left. And let's go to here. And let's add the expression, press R, open rotation, hold Alt, click rotation, and right here wiggle 1, 6. And click here for down expression, let's see. Okay, not bad. And go to first second, select this hand right, and press R, create rotation two frame, and let's add more rotation two frames for random animation. Go to 10 two frames, change like this. Again, 10 two frame, change down again, change like this. And let's go to 8 seconds. Press N for select work area and right mouse and trick come to work area. Now let's see. Okay, select these rotation two frames and make it easy. And select rotation two frames. Let's copy, go to less rotation two frame and control V for pass. 
Again, go to last shift frame, control V. Okay, pretty good. And go to first second and go to project, select this megaphone layer. Let's drag and drop into the computation. And press S, change scale. And move to here, or change scale more. Start to 8. And move to here. So, in this time, I want to put this megaphone inside to hand layer. Select hand right to, control D, and move to up. Change name mask. And go to solo. Let's zoom in here. And let's masking this finger. Go to pen tool. And let's click this icon for background and making a mask like this okay classification tool and go to anchor point move the down classification tool and unsolo okay here we go right now we can put inside this megaphone like this Let's go to anchor point, move it down like this, clearization tool and press R, chain rotation. Nice. So we can animate this finger or this megaphone and select this megaphone layer, link to hand right. Let's see. Nice. And let's select this hand right, move it down a little bit. Okay, and select this megaphone, chain rotation. Nice, very good. So let's add lines. Let's close first of one the settings, select this background and lock layer and go to pen tool. Let's go to here. Okay, let's add one line like this. Clearization tool, go to fill and for close inside color, choose here none. And stroke width, chain 10. And color, white. And change stroke width a little bit like this. And let's chain name, lion 1. And let's zoom in here. For smooth lion, let's open inside. Contents, shape 1, stroke 1. Change back cup to round cup. And let's select this, go to pen tool, select this point, move to down for small line and change the rogue width. Okay, so in this time select line and move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon, clearization tool, and also let's move to anchor point like this, clearization tool, and go to add. Let's use trim path and open trim path one, go to first second and change end zero, create end key frame, go to five key frames, change 100 and go to back and create start key frame, go to here, change 100 and make it key frames easy. Let's see. Nice. Select last few frames, move to left and this okay not bad so let's close settings let's select here and move right okay and let's control d for duplicate press r chain rotation and move to here chain rotation more and again control d for duplicate move to down Press R, chain rotation. And let's select this line 2, move right. And line 3, move to right. Okay, and select these layers, right mouse and pre-compose. Add name, lines 1. Click OK. Open composition. And let's see. Click this for black background. Okay, right now let's select work area, press N and select full animation scene. 
Okay, and select these layers, move to center, and go to region of interest icon. Select region like this, let's see. Okay, move to left a little bit. And go to compensation, crop come to region of interest. And close window, select line. Let's move to here. Okay, so in the same, select these lines. Let's link to megaphone layer. Let's see. And select full work area. Let's move to left. And control D for duplicate. And move to right. Let's see. Okay, I like it. Let's control D again, move to right again for more duplicates. And this duplicate here. Let's see. Nice, I like it. So right now we can add our animation inside the display. And let's select this mail conversation, drag and drop into the conversation here. And press S, change scale. And move to here. And link to layer body. And open mail conversation. And let's select these lines and link to shape one. And select shape one, go to first second, press P, create new passing keyframe. Move to down like this. Go to 10 keyframes, move to up. Again, 10 keyframes, select first keyframe, copy pass. And make it easiest. Go to Graph Editor and let's make smooth animation. Select middle keyframe and make it smooth like this. Let's see. Let's make more smooth. Back to keyframes and hold Alt click time icon. Play button, prepare to end loop out duration. Okay, that's good. Close conversation. Let's see. Nice, very good. And open composition again for random two frames. Select these three two frames. Hold Alt, move to right. Let's see. Nice. So finally, let's add shadow. Go to shape layers, hold this icon, and select ellipse tool, and create one shadow like this. Clisation tool and stroke with zero. Open fill color, and use R dropper. Select this color and change to dark blue. Click OK. Change name shadow. And move to behind of layers. So guys, thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.